Okay, I said my next task was going to be the assignment of configuration for domain name services or DNS. Now in order to be able to do that what I've done is I've started back from the entry point of the configuration so we can see exactly where we need to go. So right now I'm on the system dashboard again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to fabric and from the fabric console we see that we have the inventory, the fabric policies, and the access policies. Well this is going to be a fabric policy because this is going to, to uh, actually assign DNS functionality to my APIC and to my leaf switches. Now what we're going to do is when we start looking at the configuration we're going to need to go to global policies because this is going to impact the system globally and we're going to see immediately that we have a value here called DNS profiles. Now when we start looking at the DNS profiles I got an option. I can actually create a DNS profile and but I could also use this default value and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to highlight and click on the default value here and what we're going to do is we're going to specify key pieces of information that we're going to need to use here. So this is my work pane. So my work pane is going to dictate what I'm going to configure and how I'm going to make the configurations here where I'm going to specify DNS providers and DNS domain names. So the goal here is going to be to implement this in a VRF, I'm sorry, in an endpoint group and it's going to have to be that out of band endpoint group because remember we're going to have to hit the OOB VLAN and then from there we're going to actually be routed to the outside world. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to specify a provider. Now notice here this is going to be an address configuration. So when I look at this configuration I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to connect to 208 actually you know what we'll use 10.1.206.6 which is going to be one of my internal DNS servers and I'm going to make that my preferred. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second one here. I'm going to go ahead and use 208.67.222.222. That's open DNS. And I'm not going to make it my preferred method. So I'm going to try this one first. If anything fails, then I'll go out to this connection. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dictate the DNS domain that I want to be working for. And that's going to be my local. And like I said, when I do the configuration here, I want to make this actually my default domain name. Now, looking at the configuration now, what I've done is I've updated. I want to submit. And what we're going to see here is where this is actually going to be applied. And the problem is it's not being applied anywhere. But I'm going to go ahead and submit my changes because at the end of the day, we're not finished with this particular aspect of the configuration. So what we've done is we've assigned the addresses, we specified the preferred, we've gone through and defined the domain name, but what we want to do now is we want to actually deploy this. Now remember, I deployed this on the OOB VLAN, therefore what I need to do is I need to actually implement this in the correct tenant. So again, we're going to go back to tenant, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the management tenant, and under the management tenant, what we're going to find here is I'm going to have networking as an option. Now later on, we'll talk about the fact that we have networking logical constructs, and we'll talk about what we call policy constructs. Policy constructs go under here, under the application profiles. Anything to do with networking, any layer 2, layer 3 functionality will be defined under the networking, and given the fact that our out of band configuration is going to be IP compliant, it should come as no, re no surprise that I'm going to actually come in here and look at the virtual routing and forwarding instances and you're going to see here I have a subsection in here called OOB and in fact if I click on that I'm going to go ahead and just hit the down arrow also at the same time you see we have multicast configuration we've got EPG collection for VRF but over here in OOB it's going to be really interesting to look at because if I scroll down and we look at our configs you will notice I'm going to have the ability of being able to specify a domain or name label now when I did my configuration I didn't make one I used the default configuration. So let's go back to Fabric 
and from fabric what we want to do is we want to go to global policies down to DNS profiles and I used default so that's what I'm going to write in here so I'm going to go back to tenant and from tenant I'm going to go to I to networking to VRFs to OOB and I'm just going to write in default here down on the bottom I'll just say D fault then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit submit and we're going to see that this is actually being applied to the leaf one leaf two and spine one devices I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to submit my changes now all I want to do is I want to verify what just happened with this configuration if anything I mean we could have could have screwed something up I don't know we'll figure it out so at this particular juncture what we do is we're going to look at the APIC now from the perspective of the APIC if I ping www.google.com what we're going to find is, is you'll note that it doesn't seem to be doing much of anything but it did resolve a name there we go the APIC is actually able to communicate out now what I'm going to do is I'm going to control C and from here all I'll do is I'll SSH to leaf-1 and let's execute NXOS 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's see if we can do the same thing. Let's see if we can do that ping. So ping www.google.com, hit enter, and we see that we're resolving there. So the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect to the spine, and we'll just leave it at that. So SSH, I'll connect to spine-1, and I want to execute the ping from there. So NXOS 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we'll just do ping. So ping www.google.com and we have reachability. So we've satisfied the requirements that we laid out in our task. We all simply just configured this DNS label where what we're doing is we're applying the DNS profile that we created to the OOB virtual routing and forwarding instance that's running inside of the management tenant. So now what we've done is we've set up our DNS server. Therefore, when the time comes for us to start exploring and plumbing the depths of the virtual machine managing environment or the virtual networking configurations, we'll actually be able to use the fully qualified domain names. Our next task is going to be to configure NTP, Network Time Protocol. And what we're going to do is we're going to deploy it and we're going to verify that deployment. I'm Terry Vinson and I'll see you in the very next video.